My video for March 13, 2019 is video number 3023. The title is Manipulation of Our DNA, Codons Turned Off. Some of my internet friends keep telling me that the world is the way it is because humans sinned. That's what I was taught too, so I'm not trying to blame those who believe it. I did too. However, I've long been an explorer. I think outside the carefully crafted boxes that have kept humanity enslaved for multiple millennia. One thing that has made a lot of sense to me is that the original creator did not make junk DNA. What does that mean? Apparently, in, in over 90% of our DNA, the codons have been deactivated turned off. I've come to think it explains the plight of humanity. We did not do this to ourselves. Why would we have? This was manipulation of creation. If there really is a loving God, why was this even allowed? Were the fallen angels given free reign? Have we been in the bondage of ignorance, as it seems, for millennia? Is there a way out? Can we be liberated? For me, the answer is only if our junk DNA is reactivated. Will that happen? <laughs> Yesterday, as I was going for my walk in the park, there were two gentlemen that were coming in the opposite direction, and they were... Uh, engaged in quite a uh, quite a conversation and I couldn't help but overhearing uh, the one man say the problem is too many people are buying into the fake news and I couldn't stop there I mean I had to ask him what do you mean fake news and I soon learned that what he meant by fake news is all of the alternative media the real news is on CNN and NBC and ABC and the mainstream channels. I didn't try to start an argument with him. I told him that I disagreed that to me, the things that he saw as the real news was actually the fake news. The problem here is that humanity has been manipulated by fake news. And who runs the fake news? If not, the money masters, if not the charlatans that have claimed the right to rule and held political power on earth for a very, 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 very long time. It's not just something that happened in our current lifetime or even in the current few centuries uh, that are before us. Now, Time, they say, is just an illusion. It's all happening right now, but it's an illusion, if that's true, that we have to deal with. And is everything in the present moment or not? Is there really a past and a future or only a present? Well, it's not a present that I want to open except to explore how to get out of it. Because the present reality is one in which humanity has been enslaved. Isn't that obvious? That we're continually fighting against each other over who's right? And the, I think the truth is none of us are right. That is, none of us have all the answers. None of us see the whole picture. We've been uh, limited in our capacities to determine our own state of affairs. And that's why it's so important for me anyway, to think outside the box, to explore what if possibilities. What if the loving God decided to give his, his principal loving bright angel, Lucifer, 
control over this planet, maybe other planets too, I don't know. I can't speak for anything other than Earth, I don't know. Everything there would be mere conjecture. And in fact, everything that I'm thinking and talking about is mere conjecture. Nothing is real until we are turned back on, as it were, until we can see the bigger picture, till we can understand who we really are. And intrinsically, I don't believe we are naturally hateful. Children are not born hateful. Children are corrupted by parents who were also corrupted. And going back, how many generations do you want to go? It's been a long, 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 long time that we've been in this predicament. Yes, I do believe, and this was part of the conversation with those two gentlemen, I do believe there used to be giants on earth. He asked me if I believe that, uh, and that God destroyed them. Uh, and I said, yes, there are skeletal remains that shows that there were human-like beings anyway that were much larger than what we are in our current generation. And of course, there were periods of time when there were humans that were shorter. Size matters, right? <laughs> uh, that's a joke. But anyway, uh, we have not been all the same in our skulls. There are elongated skulls, and they seem to be another part of creation. They don't, they, they don't seem to be the kind of skulls that have a soft spot where the babies are born with a soft spot that closes up as the baby or the, as the human being uh, gets older, the soft spot diminishes and diminishes till there's a full skull. But babies are born with an open, with an opening in their skull. What does that mean? Does that mean that they're still connected to a higher reality? Is that, is that the significance of the soft spot? of the opening in the crown chakra, if you will. You know, there's lots of things that I think about. There's lots of things that I explore, and I wish people would explore as well. Our DNA, to me, it's a given. We are, we are not operating at full capacity, not even close, not even nine, uh, you know, not even half, you know, not even... 80%, you know, it's all been turned off, not even 10, not even 10%. We're way beneath our capabilities, our gifts, talents, and abilities are greatly minimized in the current creation. So those that refuse to think outside the box are part of the problem, even though they don't want to be, they see themselves as part of the solution, but they're operating in the I'm right and everybody else is wrong mindset. They're not explorers. They don't have an open mind. They, their soft spot has been closed over and they're no, they no longer allow new thoughts to come in. They no longer connect with higher powers, if you will. They no longer are able to think and see and act outside the box. And it's a challenge. It's not an easy thing to be different but we need people that are willing to be different and willing to stand against all the chicanery and corruption of the apparent leaders that propagate the fake news, which is mainstream. The alternative isn't the fake news, although it contains fake news also. The alternative presents other ways of looking at things. And that's what I try to encourage people to do. Think outside the box. Look at other possibilities. Thank you folks for listening. Namaste.